Good evening. Uh, I have my uh, Nissan Leaf power wall uh, basic layout set up. I've got a plywood board um, measured out so I can stack uh, seven in series on a plywood board. Got an extra one here just to do some fitting. Uh, Nissan Leaf battery packs come with short terminal connectors and part of the battery pack comes with long terminal connectors. Long terminal connectors fit perfectly with these laying down flat and then connecting them positive to negative or negative to positive in series and I can run seven in series for a 48 volt nominal battery pack for a hybrid or off-grid system. I like the Nissan Leaf uh, battery packs just because they're nice, nicely built and contained and easily mounted onto a board. And this is going to be my official uh, power wall that will get mounted onto the wall and connected to our 15 kilowatt uh, pure sine wave inverter. Our, our sine wave inverter is also a low frequency uh, version, which is rather bulky and heavy, but it will handle all the inductive loads that we have in our house because we are all electric here. Uh, we have no gas, so we rely on electricity for our stove, refrigerator, water, everything. And um, so that's why I opted for the low frequency inverter. Um, so it will not be in included in the, bo in the power wall like they do with Tesla. But just remember, a Tesla power wall uses a high frequency inverter, and those are not good for uh, high inductive loads. Um, good for lights and TVs and computers and things like that. Great. But if you need to power a house, Tesla Powerwall is probably not what you want if you're going off-grid or your total, um, if your house is completely electric and you need more than just lights. You have to cook, you need to cook. And so if you're going to be off, out of power for a few days. So this is my prototype setup. And we're going to build uh, handholds into the plywood backing so we can lift it and hang it. And we're going to um, put a cover over the top. I'm going to put a uh, contactor, contactor switch, BMS, and circuit breaker over here in this empty spot. Um, because we're doing uh, seven cell series for 48 volts, not eight. And that leaves us room to put all of our little goodies to run each one of these walls. We can do a single level wall, which is a, a lower capacity, but would be suitable for short term power outages if you didn't need to do a lot of high power um, needs for your house while the power is off. We could go too high if you wanted to go too high which would double that capacity which would give you a little bit more more um, current options to run higher inductive loads for a little bit longer. You still don't want to do cooking for hours on end if you're an all-electric house but if you can get by with the minimal stuff uh, running on battery power, this would be ideal. And it's still only, you know, four and a half inches maybe off the, off the wall. So we're here. So that's three inches off the board. The board's uh, three-quarter plywood. So less than four inches and then when you mount these you compress them just a little bit and then a cover over the top 
or I can go up to three high, which would be just about six inches off the wall, and um, which would be fine, and that'd give you a good a good amount. And then you could parallel that with another wall of the same size. And um, what I thought was cool is that these bus these these long bars for connecting the terminals work perfectly in this laid out laid out flat configuration so you can see they're exactly the same right size batteries are just touching and everything's nice and snug and works perfectly uh, I am looking for some more of these because I'd rather have I'd, I'd like to have some of these longer ones for the um, for building a power wall um, I would like to find some short ones as well just for connecting in parallel. And so what we have is I have 90 something modules from, from two wrecked Nissan Leafs with low mileage. And um, they, are, they are first year. And what we have, so I'm going to move the camera here for a sec. I have another stack of 14 cells and I have a power pack here and I have my constant current constant voltage power pack which runs off of this and and charges the battery pack uh, to 8.3 volts which with all the losses and everything it's like 8.26 volts once we're off the charger and then it, it takes that down to uh, zero amps. Uh, down below, underneath, you can see some more cells that are still connected in their original configuration from the car and have not been removed and have not been used. And they're all still holding a good solid voltage and I've had these sitting here for a few years. And I have a few more cells underneath. I also did a, a pack that has 14, uh, two of these uh, are 48, each one of these is 48 volts, and then I can run these in parallel for about 100 amp hours here at 48 volts. And that's how I was originally going to do this, is do a bunch of these on a shelf and, um, and just lock them up and block them up like that and that'll that'll work just because i have so many cells um, i'm not sure i'm going to actually do the power wall as a permanent thing but i may do these as a permanent i have oops, um, another seven here for 48 volts actually one of them is over at the other table so if you count them you'll see that there's only six but there is seven I have five here, and I have nine under the table for another 14. And I have another seven. And so this one over here is actually connected to an electric lawnmower. And underneath over here are my uh, LifePo batteries, lithium iron phosphate. Got a bunch of Calb SEs, and I also have a, a small batch of uh, Thunder Skies, uh, all 100 amp hour size. So form factor wise, these batteries are actually take up a little more space than the Calb Calbs do.
So these two are approximately 100 amp hours, and this is 100 amp hours here. So size-wise, my Nissan modules are fatter and wider to get 100 amp hours versus the block. You know, so you can do the same thing with these and lay these out and mount them to a board in series for 48 volts or whatever you want and then and then connect them just like this you could even probably use bus bars like this or just, just make your own a little bit smaller form factor and still have the same thing and that's how basically how thick your wall is going to be except maybe another inch and a half if you uh and this is just one hot and this is would be like similar to too high here so we're still under you know like three and a half four inches from from the wall out from the wall and, and you're good <clears throat> so either way um, I chose the Nissan Leaf modules because I think they're going to actually be a better cell than the uh, lithium iron phosphate. And they also have a higher voltage uh, per and uh, that's how I want to do this. So here in the next day or two we're going to I'm going to have these this uh, board cut out and these mounted to the board and have a VMS hooked up and we're going to connect it up to the inverter and see what kind of power we can get from it and just kind of get a good good form factor I'm going to make an aluminum cover plate aluminum piece that's going to be just as big as this here and um, and have it have it nice and covered so it's not as nice as a uh, <clears throat> Tesla power wall, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper. And um, and this one we can configure to our own needs versus having to buy what Tesla offers you if that's the way you're going to go. So this is why we've opted for this, because I'm hoping I can get all this hooked up and do basically an off-grid system in the city, still remain connected to the grid but rarely ever use the grid and so that's where we're at rambled on for 13 minutes and um, we'll bring you some updates and I hope you enjoy this so we'll, we'll get a, a better spot to do video just wanted to show a few things so here's a good close-up of the cells connected in series using the long terminal connectors and then to stack them you'd use the short terminal connectors to stack in parallel and we just come up to the next one and then this one where we're connecting across in series I would make a, a u-shaped copper um, terminal connector and put it in between. I wouldn't use one of these uh, flexible uh, cables. I don't want to use flex cables if I can help it anywhere in this except to run down to the uh, inverter. And so you can see how nice that these just lay nice and flat and everything's nice and compact on the uh, leaf modules and uh, so this power wall if I do three high it's gonna be like hundred and eighty pounds um, with all the stuff on it and um, so it's gonna be kind of heavy It'd be two for two people so I may stick with one or two high and doing one high would be fun just because it's really skinny and just kind of hides and you could easily 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 do this and the other thing is if you had a garage like we do you could probably take 
Come on, you all. And let's kind of go on over here and take a look. Not the best light over here, but what the hell. <clears throat> so, well, look at there. That module fits right in between our beams, and I could put two too high, and I could fill the insulation space with these modules. Seven high in series, two deep, in between each one of these things, and I could build one hell of a power wall and then drywall over the top of it, and you would never know that there's any batteries in there at all. <clears throat> that would be the benefit of doing this in a shed or a garage and just hide these batteries in the wall and you'd never know you're just not putting insulation in it so make sure it's not on a wall that gets uh, the hot day sun so put it on the uh, east side of the house or the north side of the walls and uh, and just fill in between the walls and then cover it with your drywall or whatever just make sure that everybody knows that you don't put nails in it and uh, and leave it at that. And uh, if you ever sell the place, make sure you take them out. So again, this is a quick setup, and that's what you have. And we'll resume later. Always more to come.